Hi Capricorn, I'm Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and this is your six month reading. We're in we're just just past the six first six months and now we're going into the second half of the year after June. So I thought I'm going to make just an extra for my viewers and um do the six months spread of the uh, later next oh, uh, sorry the later um, p part of the year and um, I know this energy has changed so so dramatically with COVID-19 I wonder what the future holds for us or the en what energies there will be coming you can compare this to your yearly where you have all the months of the year and I'm just doing one month at a time with four oracle cards to give you more insight as to what the energy will be. Would you like a one-to-one -one reading? Then um, please have a look at the information below the uh, video or click on the little dot just in the corner here and that will take you to the website. Okay, let's get started and if you're new, welcome to uh, the channel and um, please click and subs subscribe and click on the bell and uh, click on all then you'll be notified when new videos will be uploaded or when I go live June we start with June and the first card that you have is the tower unexpected changes Capricorn something was not built on proper foundations so one door is closing and 20 will open like the saying go, goes that I always use, one cl door closes and 20 will open. Something was not built on proper foundations and this was totally unexpected. This could be a result of the situation that we are in, that things are changing drastically and really quickly. That was the tower and underneath the tower you have the nine of pentacles and this is from the cat's tarot okay and so things might be changing for the better as nine means an ending and you don't have to be worried anymore about money or material goods because you're going into a new beginning a better face Perhaps you might unexpectedly have landed a job that pays much better or because you've been working from home you've got recognition and you um, are getting a change in a job like I've already predicted. A lot of things will be changing because of environmental issues and municipalities, lesser people on the road so perhaps you might be staying at home and working at home two or three days uh, of the week and the rest in the office. There will be uh, split times like um, your schedule will be either in the morning one week and in the afternoon the next week or either morning and evening. For mo I know this won't resonate for all of you but perhaps for a lot of you. If this the reading doesn't resonate with you, then have a look at your moon sign or your rising sign once they're done. Now we're going into July and July is usually the time that the holidays, the school holidays begin. Let's see what is in July. In July you have the C Alpha male. That's the King of Cups. Perhaps you might be meeting um, a cancer. He's the King of Cups. It is prominently uh, the cancer, but it could also be a Scorpio or a Pisces. That you'll be meeting a man that has a nurturing, caring, loving and passionate side. That is if you're not hooked up, or this could be a new boss because you had the tower. Perhaps you are meeting somebody at your new job and making new friends because some friends or friendships fell away in June. It doesn't always have to be job related, it can be friendship related that friendships ended. 
because you hadn't seen each other and blah 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 you know the story then we have number 14 temperance temperance and that is trying to keep the balance perhaps trying to keep the balance with this new person that you've met or an existing person it could be an, a Cancer Scorpio or a Pisces like I said but now um, you've got this new thing going um, that ha happened unexpectedly in June perhaps you got together and you might be living uh, apart from each other or uh, one at one end of a town and then in the other end he lives in the other end of the town perhaps you're trying to balance seeing each other because everything has come alive again and moving what I mean a life is everybody is more or less busy trying to find their balance within this new regime or schedule because there will be things that are different um, like I've been saying a lot of people will uh, be working from ho home much more often uh, I think this will be also more or less for the ladies um, and I think there will be less children going to nurseries and because I think um, the municipalities is going to use this um, period uh, to use their to, to their advantage like less people on the road so it's en environmental friendly um, less people on the road at the same time I think there will be n new sort of jobs created that are remote because they call it remote working from home and so I think there will be a lot of children um, not going to the kindergarten or to daycare I think we're going a little bit back to the old-fashioned way of life okay well if you have met um, a, a Capricorn and you're not hooked up or you are engaged then I think you might get married with them in August as we have the four of wands or if you are living apart from each other you might actually be moving in together or buying a home together as we have the four of wands anyway there's going to be um, celebrations or you if you're not getting married you could be going to a wedding and you could be meeting people there and there you when you meet people you could be networking you could making be making new friendships and these friendships are made out of proper foundations it won't be just a summer love or a romance okay the card underneath that is the four of swords so you, perhaps you are taking time out perhaps some of you are going on holiday but the four of swords means uh, holiday meditation contemplation evaluation perhaps you don't like this new way of schedules and that's why you're moving in or getting married together um, in August and you've contemplated about it and meditated about it and perhaps that's exactly what you want or perhaps you're taking time out with each other in August before you are moving on before everything is ready but something is becoming permanently permanent um, in August I see things coming together in August and being built on proper foundations your durability and patience ha is paying off this summer or definitely in the f in the second quarter of the year okay it's all too big okay then um, this is June July August September we have the moon you might be emotionally uh, se highly sensitive in September as you have the moon and again the moon represents a water sign and that is Pisces but don't exclude the other two water signs so water sign for you is quite prominent in the first and the beginning of the second quarter or the third quarter fourth quarter because that's September okay 
you might be developing uh, a psychic abilities you might have more premonitions you might have more deja vus you might have more dreams but you could be highly sensitive and using your intuition more okay now you see the two pillars that means to me number 11 and that's the doorway and that the angels are giving you to a new beginning but you don't know what it's going to be because the moon also means secrets and mystery you are in the spotlight so you have got recognition and if you haven't landed in that nine of co coin period yet then this could be the month because September is the ninth month Wow so be open to change in the coming four months now we're going to the uh, hang on a minute uh, August September October November December okay and in October you have the ten of C again you that the ten of C is the ten of cups here you've got the nine of pentacles and here you've got the ten of cups the nine of pentacles means an ending and a new beginning more of money and in um, August you might be getting married so in um, October you might find out you're pregnant or you might be extending your family well pregnancy is extending your family or you might even if it isn't in uh, uh, August you could be it could be happening in October the ten of cups happy families so there might be a pregnancy you might even get an extra uh, pet an extra dog and that is also an extension of the family and perhaps you have learned from the COVID-19 uh, uh, um, that period in lockdown that you needed to be outside and when you have a dog you can go out even more then you are have an excuse to go outside okay perhaps that's an idea or perhaps you've um, whilst you were locked down you some of you might have got a rescue dog who knows and so that you were able to go outside and it is done you good and it's kept you whole and sane <laughs> um, I know it sounds crazy but it is true uh, when you are locked up you do go boom get depressed or whatever if you are a person that likes being busy and you're locked in it's great to be outside and to feel free even if it's just for 15 minutes you might have learned something but the ten of cups means coming together um, having reunions having parties happy families your wish is coming true because you've also got the star on that so if you you wish to get pregnant then this is the month okay and it is the tenth month remember that so you've got a ten in the ten Wow um, and there is an ending a new beginning now on the 11th mo a month that's November again you've got temperance but then from the dog tarot okay you've got temperance here from the cat tarot and that is in July this is in November again you have to balance something well if you've just had a baby or if you're finding out that you're pregnant then um, you'll have to balance your time again reorganize away with the things that you don't need and to focus on the things that you have and that you that what is at hand finding the balance between uh, sleeping periods and being awake so um, when I say a birth this could be a birth of a child um, it definitely I in um, with the ten of cups with the extension of the family 
expanding the family or this could be also um, a grandmother or a grandfather or a mother or a father coming to live with you so that is oak expending not only an animal or a baby but it could also be an elderly person that you've learned from the COVID virus situation um, that you want to be close to family not only friends so that in some cases people might be organizing um, a bigger house or an extension on the house that is also expending so that uh, an older member of the family can move in and perhaps that's where you have to find the balance so and I think you will find the balance much more if they do live in because then you don't have to um, be worried what is happening at their place if they're living in the next village or the next town and so then you will be able to find more balance things have been tough because you've got the ten of wands don't give up this close um, don't give up at this stage so close to the end you've only got a few steps to uh, to take before you get to your goal so there is an ending and a new uh, period breaking in on November Capricorn is quite a uh, varied reading and I forgot to do this card I just see it um, on the moon card you have the uh, page of ones and the page of ones that is Sagittarius that could be a Sagittarius around you that has an eye on you or um, it is a, a page of uh, Sagittarius um, let's have a look um, that might he's definitely bringing you news so you might be worried about a child okay you might be worried about somebody that is a Sagittarius but definitely you're going to get news this news could be about a new job or about a new friendship okay okay and here again temperance is Sagittarius and here you've got temperance so that is Sagittarius Sagittarius is quite prominent in your reading sorry about that okay you see I'm talking too much but I just love doing the cards and readings and the moon the star I mean is Aquarius that's Aquarius let's have a look the alpha male is Cancer Pisces is the moon so um, you have got um, definitely Sagittarius Aquarius or the water signs now in December the last month and you can compare this reading with the yearly reading you can do it month by month like I've done in the uh, yearly reading and you've got the hermit so in December it is advisable to take time out to evaluate to meditate and contemplate and evaluate the hermit also represents Virgo so perhaps there might be a Virgo around you in December okay and you've got the two of swords perhaps there is a Virgo around you um, that is trying to balance definitely balance and uh, temperance um, is in your next half of the year okay Capricorn so that is the two of swords perhaps you might have closed your heart off and your mind to new ideas and you don't know uh, where to go and it could be concerning a Virgo so that's why the hermit is here to take time out to think about things and to evaluate 
how to do it next. But keep an open mind and keep an open heart. You are in your own power, okay? If this is a Virgo that you don't want in your life or if you worry about it, then seek advice or help or ask them to seek help or advice. Okay, now we're going to the bottom of the deck and the bottom of the deck you have the Eight of Sky, the Eight of Swords. So the Eight of Swords represents that you might feel um, overall imprisoned or uh, tied up, frustrated, okay, uh, because this is a lot like the Two of Swords, it's the same thing, the lady sits with a, her swords crossed her chest, her solar plex and her heart with a blindfold and the same here but then in a circle of eight swords. So you might feel tied up basically and you can't see what is going to happen in front of you or in within the near future. You don't dare to open up because you're stuck in this situation that we are in now. and. I think you've taken the attitude, I'll see what happens, and I'll take it as it comes. Never forget to give up, uh, you'll never forgive up, never forget that you should not give up, okay? Make plans, make dreams, because you've also got the Ace of Swords, victory is yours. But you have to take the right action and the right decision and you can only take the right decision if you keep an open mind, if you keep an open solar plex and an open heart so that you can uh, see it coming towards you. Take that blindfold off and keep your heart open. Okay, that's these cards. Okay, I can't get them all on the video sorry about that now which might help you is some of these cards speak and live your truth yes don't hide any uh, hide anything don't hide your emotions be happy be content with the family and friends there will be reunions again there will be coming together okay before speaking Consult your inner truth barometer and resist the temptation to tell people only what they want to hear. People really do respect those who are willing to speak their truth and even more, to live the truth they feel. Be as solid as a rock. Now it looks like a face, like this is the nose and this is an eye and the mouth and it looks like a closed mouth yeah I, I do see things in cards that others don't or some can't then you've got the lily perhaps you might feel tied up and impatient because you can't uh, open up your business and it is not going it's not going to be what you had hoped to be but that is not your fault seek advice if you need help be creative you've got number 30 that's three and that's creativity but the lily also means um, that you most probably will seek advice from a father figure or a professional perhaps a bookkeeper or somebody um, that might come in and reorganize your uh, your settings or, or your tables in a restaurant so that you can open up and have that two meter or meter and a half distance between each c uh, customer. Be creative. Luck is on your side. The lilies will bring you luck. And this is also with the spider. Now I can understand the spider web. You are the spider. S be the spider because you're the one that can crawl back to the center and get your price, okay? Wherever it lands in your web. That's what I'm saying. You might be networking in August at a wedding if it isn't your own. There will be partnerships built on proper foundations because it's a solid foundation. You might feel that you are, you are caught up 
and stuck but you are the spider remember that you are the spider you can move anywhere in your own web it is your, you know how bouncy the web is you spun it so use it to your advantage I like that love yourself first definitely Capricorn if you can't take care of yourself or love yourself you won't be shining you won't be the beam beacon your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive but if you love yourself and you take care of yourself then you can take care of your business you can take care of your situation and coming and you can manage that web you'll be networking and creating your own web okay you are in charge just remember that you don't have to feel imprisoned you're not stuck because the spider can move around in his own web but you can also build the web bigger and bigger and bigger now my question to you is what does this card mean to you how does that card make you feel take that away with you as a task as a metaphor think about it when you're contemplating and sitting quietly or doing med meditation what does the web mean to you and the spider take it separately first the web then the spider then interact the spider into the web and see what you get what kind of answers that is what you can take away as well from this reading I hope you've liked this reading take care and let me know and if you need advice then please contact me and we'll get together take care be blessed and good luck in the next six months ciao ciao